Hi everyone, in this video we're looking at modeling using growth or decay curves. And so this is talking about a woman, Caitlin, that's bought a new mo mobile phone. That second hand value, if she decides to sell it, can be represented by this function here. And here's the number of years after buying it and there's a billion dollars. So to calculate the vertical intercept of the graph and explain what it represents. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna graph it. So uh, we'll go into graph mode and we'll put this in 495 times 0.6 to the power of x. And we can see it doesn't uh, it happen, it doesn't show on our graph because of our scale, so we have to change our viewing window. So I'll get my viewing window to go from, um, well, I'll go from negative one even though it doesn't make sense because if you're talking about a phone, um, you can't go back in time to when it's owned. And I'll go up to eight. Um, and then my y values will go from zero um, because the phone can't be worth less than zero dollars and um, we'll go up to 600 so we can see what's going on. So there's my um, graph, that's what it's going to look like and so we'll go to table so that we can plot it on our screens uh, and we'll get our table to go from negative one to eight and so at negative one it's off our graph uh, at zero, four, nine, five which um, kind of makes sense, I'll talk about that in a minute. So at 1, 2, 9, 7, so just a tiny little sliver under 300. Uh, 7, 8, and about there. 106, 64, 38, 23, and I don't think we'll bother going much further than that because we'll start getting too close to the axis. So we'll just sketch this in um, by coming down like this and approaching the x-axis without actually touching it. Okay, so that's what our graph looks like. And so question A is asking us um, to explain what the vertical intercept means. So it's talking about that point there. And that simply is the price at mu. So the vertical intercept intercept represents the price during mu. Okay, second question is saying estimate how long it takes for the phone to half in value. So if we're estimating, we can use our graph for that. So we're looking at half of 495. So 495 divided by 2, that's a, a, just around 250. So if we sort of sketch a line in across here and sketch that down, uh, if we're reading just off our graph and not doing a calculation, it's around about um, one and a half years. So um, we can say it will be worth half in around about one. And, and just out of interest, we could use our graph to look at this as well. So um, we could put 2, 4, um, 7.5 into our graph and um, and what's happening here, viewing window. Uh, no, it's not done much plotting. There we go. And then we can um, solve for the intersect of those two. We can see on our graphics calculator it actually comes out to 1.35. So, you know, our graph is a little bit inaccurate because of hand drawing, but we're in the right ballpark. Okay, um, so uh, the, the key thing, I suppose, is making sure that you draw out your graph and um, use that to model your situation. Okay, have a go at exercise 5.09, please.